the plan for today is Blodgett View Camp, straight ahead, coming off of Main Street and into the mountains. Let's hope it's not a uh, private road or anything like that. And let's hit it. Okay, well, this leads to a decision, doesn't it? This isn't just a dirt road, it's bumpy. Oh, we've got a nice drop off there on the right side. A little mini canyon. I guess the road ain't too bad. We'll keep going for a while. There it is. Blodgett Overlook Trail. Canyon Creek Trail. Blodgett Creek Trail. Blodgett Campground. Well, let's go see how the road is. says drown campfires with like a I guess it's a Smokey the Bear or something well it didn't say Smokey the Bear but it was a bear maybe it was a knockoff a generic Smokey the Bear a counterfeit Smokey the Bear anyway the uh, the ride so far hasn't been bad it's a dirt road but it was only bumpy for a short section. Just take it slow, watch for people wanting to pass, and uh, the S-Max is handling it just fine. Looks like we're coming up on something. I see a lot of parked cars. No shooting. Got a river to my right. 
Fort Creek. I say we check this place out. I think this ought to do just fine. Right about here. Dude taking a piss up there. <laughs> gotta go, you gotta go. Logit Campground in the Bitterroot National Forest. And I see a trail. It goes up here, so we'll take a little walk and check that out. Doesn't the S Max look so cool out here in the middle of the woods? <laughs> She's home. Roxy is home. Well, technically she's not in Bali, so she's not totally home yet. Look at those mountains. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna try one more river stop on the way out of here. right there in front of that Honda. <laughs> That's cool. It's almost the whole tree. Skinny little sucker, but almost the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Nice. Woohoo! It's like we got a bridge over here. Yeah, check that out. Clear, it's rock. Good day.
look at that view. You can see the mountains. Let me stop for you and turn. Those mountains there are on the east side of the valley. So we're on the west side. You can see across the entire valley from up here. Beautiful. All right, moving on. Oh, hey, there's a bee. Hi, bee. Just pulled off to check out this little creek. Back up that way is where we came from. Roger Campground. So I've got a little cabin up there. Another lookout point. Yeah, there's a private property sign and a barbed wire fence. You can actually hear from here, probably not in the video, but, or maybe you can, from the rifle range, uh, the shooting over there. Anyway, that's where we're headed. That is very, very happy Roxy, the S-Max. So we got to our right the Blodgett Overlook Trail, Canyon Creek Trail, which we will explore next time. We've got to save all these goodies for each trip. Let's hit it. really wasn't needed at all and uh, it was about maybe a third of the trip dirt road now I would say if you're gonna shell out for a Honda ADV 150 that trip would have been VA plus because of the uh, more off-road geared tires uh, to go deeper down dirt roads but other than that uh, there was really nothing at all on this one that uh, tested the limits of the S Max. In fact, this was probably the easiest one yet because usually I do 65 on the highway with each with each one of these. So uh, rock and roll, everyone. Stay free, free of tyranny. See you next time. All right, so I fibbed a little bit. You know, the S Max it really craves speed. Got to have a little of it before we wrap up this ride. East Side Highway. say back there that a Zuma 125 would have been uh, perfect for that trip I forgot about that one that would have been absolutely perfect I would say going down to a 50 class and then having to hit some of the you know 40 mile per hour zones 45 zones probably probably wouldn't cut it but a Zuma 125 would have been perfect the Honda ADV would have been great uh, but that's what I love so much about this size class and the S-Max and the 155 motor because you got the top end when you need it. 